So this week on ECPE, they released a limited time St. Patrick's Day event. Now today's video will be pretty much just fully covering this event, all the features that it's got, all the rewards, as well as how I was able to get 200 million coins in just 15 seconds. Now guys, if you do go on to enjoy this video, please consider subscribing as well as leaving a like on the video and just once again, put something in the comments. I like to read all the comments on my videos and honestly guys, it makes my day, so thank you. Anyways, apart from that, if you have not been on since this event started, consider checking it out. Using this event, you can get super rich, so I would highly recommend playing. Anyways, apart from that, I hope you all do enjoy the video and let's get into it. So when you spawn into the server, if you run over here by the crate key, to the right of the crate keys, there's a little leprechaun man, and if you just tap him, it'll bring up a shop with a whole bunch of stuff that you can purchase with clovers. And I'll get into how you get the clovers coming up here, but at first, I just kind of want to run through the shop. The first thing that you can get is a pinched D tag, which I actually do have one of these. Obviously, it's the same as any other type of D tag. You can just combine it onto a sword, and then whenever you get a kill, it'll say whoever you kill was pinched by Timber Squirrel or whatever. Then you get two tags, which will show up right above your name. And then you can also get a couple of capes. There's a rainbow cape, an Irish flag cape, and a pot of gold. My girlfriend actually ended up grinding with me, and she bought the pot of gold cape. And honestly, guys... It looks pretty fire, not gonna lie. And then next up, we've got a St. Patrick's Blade. Now, this will cost you, I believe, 250 clovers. It's pretty similar to a Skeleton Sword, except the only thing with this is the Skeleton Sword gives permanent double CE XP, while this one only gives has a 2% chance to give double CE XP for 5 seconds. So honestly, guys, it's not really the best. I wouldn't recommend buying it, since you can just get a Skeleton Sword, which is obviously way better. And then the next thing that we have is a Lepre Leprechaun staff, and I've actually got one of these, and what it does is if you tap a chest, it'll sell all items inside of it instantly. And then the other thing that you can get is a Lucky Clover, which when it activated, it'll increase your sell prices by 2 for 15 seconds. Now guys, all I'm gonna say, for about the first day of this update, it was super broken. And I'll, I'll get into that later, but first I'm gonna kinda show you how you can get these clovers. Since obviously, I'm sure you guys are going to want to try to buy some stuff. Now, you might be wondering why I'm in the wild, but that's because the first way that you can actually get clovers is just by mining grass. So literally just the top layer of all the dirt is what you're going to want to mine. Now, when the event first released, this is kind of what I was using since I didn't really know any of the best ways to get clovers at the time. And obviously, as you can tell, I've really destroyed this train a lot. <laughs> and obviously, it's still a decent way to get clovers, but there is a much better way to get them. Now in chat, I'll just let you know when you get a clover. You don't really get a whole bunch from them. But the other method here is what I'm using and I would recommend, even though this event's only going to be out for probably three days or so once this video releases, I would seriously recommend using this method and it's going to be pretty overpowered and you're going to get pretty rich from doing this. Now currently there are 16 minutes until the boss spawns, but whenever a boss does spawn next to him, there's going to be little elf creatures and they're going to be really small, about like half the length of a player right now. So it's pretty hard to hit, but pretty much what you want to do is just try to kill those instead of the boss. And by doing that, you get about 25, 30 clovers on average every time you kill one. Now, if it doesn't give you clovers, that just means you didn't deal enough damage, which is one reason why I would recommend just splashing a strength on yourself so that you can deal more damage. And if you do have a G sword like this, I would recommend using one. If you die to the boss, it's not really a huge issue since you can just run back and get your loot anyways. But pretty much that's kind of the main method that I've been using to get rich here. Now, obviously, I'll do one of these fights for in the video for you guys so I can kind of show you as well. But we, we still gotta wait a little bit. But guys, I'm sure you all clicked on the video for the title. So I'm gonna explain how I was able to get 20 million coins in less than 15 seconds. Now, when this event first released, I immediately just started grinding. I knew the two ways to make money was just going to the wild and mining grass and then also going to the boss. So I was kind of doing a combination of both. I would just mine until the boss spawned. Then I would fight the boss and all the leprechauns that spawn next to him. And then I go pretty much right back to mining grass. And it took maybe about an hour, hour and a half or so to do this. But I was able to save up enough to get the leprechaun staff. Now, as it says, you can sell pretty much any items in a chest immediately. And that, combined with one of these Lucky Clovers, makes it super overpowered. But for the first day or so of the event, these Clovers were actually way more overpowered than they are right now. Rather than it being times 2 for 15 seconds, this Clover was actually times 4 for 20 seconds. But anyway, so I ended up actually grinding out approximately 10 or so double chests 
completely full of melons using the melon farm. And I'll show the calculations on screen, but one melon sells for 1350 coins. That multiplied by four times however many items are in a chest times 10 chests is a lot of coins. Now on screen here, I'll show the clip of me actually doing it since obviously it was recorded about four or five days ago now. But yeah, that's pretty much how I did it, guys. <laughs> now, obviously, don't get me wrong, the event is still super broken. You can literally get double the amount of coins per melon that you get. And obviously, I'm still grinding the event a ton using this strategy. But on that first day, I was able to get 200 million coins in literally a quarter of the time that it would take you regularly. But anyways, guys, the boss spawns in about six minutes or so now. And obviously, I'm going to be there fighting it. But until then, I'm literally just going to be grinding melons since it is super overpowered. Alright guys, so the boss spawns in about 10 seconds here. I'm all prepared. I kind of had to rush at the end there. What we've got is we've got a slime ball with strength on. I'm just using WD. And then I've got a G sword in my hand, as well as strength potions if I need. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the boss a couple of times. That's about all I really want to deal. Just so I can actually get rewards from the boss when he dies. And all we do is we just wait near the middle of the arena. And coming up here, one of these little leprechauns should spawn in. And just like that, there he is. So all we gotta do is just try to kill this dude. That's the main goal. Hopefully I can get some damage into him. The server is really lagging, which does not help. <laughs> And there we go. We got 30 clover. So that meant we were the top damager. It's 30 for first place, 25 for second, and 20 for third. Another one already spawned, which is really good. I did not even know that though, so I might not place here. Okay, we got 25. That's not bad. And we got another one. I'm kind of far away from it though. I need to get some hits in if I want to place. Come on. I did not place there, which kind of sucks. Aw, uh, he spawned all the way over there. Come on. I can't be having that. I need to get these hits in. <laughs> I didn't place again. This is a really bad boss fight, guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I really need this one here. There we go. 30. All right. That's what I'm talking about. We're making a comeback, guys. We got another one already. I really need a place here. Come on. No, dang it. There's a lot of people grinding them right now, I think. Come on. Come on. Please. There's everyone hitting them right now. I need... Let's go, I got 20 at least. That's something. I'll take it. Okay, he spawned all the way over there, which does not help one bit. And I'm getting, I'm low, but I gotta focus on trying to kill this dude. Come on! Come on! How did I not place there? Guys, I swear I'm better than this. I've had rounds where I've literally gotten first place for every single leprechaun that spawned. And the boss just died. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. So from that, we got like 105 clovers, which... It's not terrible, but it's not really the best for me. I've literally had rounds where I've gotten 250, 270 in clovers just from one single boss. But that'll put my total of clovers up at 1265. Now, obviously, I could buy a whole bunch of this stuff here, but to be honest, I don't really want any special capes since I've got my F top one value cape on right now, which I really like it a lot. One thing you guys may not know is I've actually got two of these things. If I go to player settings, my faction got top value season 18 as well as season 19 so i could really do whichever one i prefer 18 just because it's a season before that which kind of makes me look more og but anyways apart from that i could buy like two leprechaun staffs here but to be honest what i want to buy is a whole bunch of lucky clovers so literally we're just buying four of these things i've got the pinch d tag already so i don't really need that i've got the leprechaun staff this sword here it really isn't the best since i've got a skeleton sword already which is way better all right so we are now in my pv here and last night i was actually working on something for this video Video, and I was working on filling up all of these chests completely full of melons. Now I got a little tired so I stopped at the last chest so I've still got about an inventory and a half or so to fill. So before I can go and sell all of this I'm gonna quick run and grab about a full inventory of melons. And just like that guys we have now filled up 12 full double chests of melons. Also on top of that I've literally got almost two full double chests of blessed melon slices and i literally have no use for them but anyways all we're gonna do here is we're gonna take one lucky clover as well as the leprechaun staff and pretty much we're just gonna use it and we're gonna run down this 
row of chests, and then we're gonna run right back up this one, selling everything, all within 15 seconds. So I think with that said, let's pop this clover, and we're just gonna absolutely send it here. In three, two, one. Right up, right up and down. That's all we do. And we'll just run over it a couple more times to make sure that we got nothing else that we can sell. And just like that, guys, we made 110 million coins. So, guys, if you didn't believe me in the title, I wasn't joking. That's literally how I made it. 200 million coins in just 15 seconds now obviously we'll put that back and we're gonna actually put this money on my alt account since i don't want it on me since if i die my head is worth about 11 million coins and just like that we're pretty much broke again we got about seven mil left but on the other hand my alt account actually has a ton ton of coins 510 mil to be exact now looking at top balance that'll put it pretty much right below some of the people up at the very top also, guys, on a side note, the whole chat is convinced that some dude is my alt account. ECPE Hub Factions. For whatever reason, they think it's my alt account. It's not. But to be honest, guys, I'm not even going to say anything because I love the mystery of them not knowing. I think they think I'm making another video, like, joining a faction or whatever. Anyways, the next boss doesn't spawn for about 20 minutes here, and I'll try to be on for that next fight so we can get two fights in in this video. But guys, before that, I think it's finally time that we reveal the G set that I've honestly not really been working on, but I'm trying my best best here so i've got this sword for it in my hand but i've also got a couple of other g swords in my e chest that i could use so the g sword is not really a huge concern but right here is the armor set it's got wrath of chronos on the helmet as well as a protection refinement and then obviously a bunch of custom enchants i still need to get reflection and steel bones upgraded on here the chest plate's got wrath of hera as well as a whole bunch of other really good enchants i still need to get conceal upgraded to level five then the leggings have wrath of hera as well and they've got a bunch of other good enchants and then the boots have wrath of chronos as well as a couple of other enchants that need to get upgraded so this g set still has some work and i could use some forge books to help out on it but the other thing that i really want to use are these armor ce refinements currently i've got two tier twos which i really want to put on the chest plate as well as the leggings but i need about 400 more custom enchants between the two of them to get them upgraded now guys i'm sure you know but i just grind melons and melons give literally no custom enchant xp so to be honest, I have no idea how I'm ever going to charge these refinement crystals. I've had them pretty much the entire season as well, and I've just been holding on because I know they're worth a ton of coins, and I really just want to put them on my G set. So if any of you have a ton of custom enchant XP and want to help me out, please just DM me on Discord and we can honestly work something out because I want to get these things charged. Now guys, I've actually got a ton of forge notes that I can use to try and upgrade this set. Honestly, I don't know why I put them all in different chests, but I got them here. So pretty much I'm just going to kind of speed this up, but I'm going to combine all of these forge notes onto this set and hopefully it'll complete it so it can be basically a maxed out G set. Obviously that's the goal. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm not too worried about it. Alright, so guys, I've literally gone through my entire inventory of all my forge notes. I was able to max out the ED chest plate. This helmet literally just needs one more forge note to get the steel bones up to level 5. These leggings are more or less maxed out. I'm not sure if I want to upgrade to Springs 5 or not, just because of the way this PvP map is. So I'm going to leave that currently at Springs 3, and I'll just ask people in chat later. And then the boots will need, probably I'm just going to go with two forge books, since they're going to be a lot easier to get, and they can upgrade both of them up to max level but I just need immunity and steel bones upgraded on there. But pretty much the only other way that I know I can get some easy forge notes is going to the mailman. Obviously, I've been fighting a ton of bosses, so I've got a whole bunch of boss kill rewards. So I'm just going to speed this up, and we're going to go and claim every single one of these. And from that, we got a decent amount of forge notes, so I'm just going to start upgrading things. We had about five forge notes or so. Honestly, with the way this map is, I think I'm going to put, just put Springs 5 on it. I don't really care. I think it's going to be a good upgrade. I just really gotta hope this last forge note works, so I'm gonna go to my PV and use the last of my forge dust to upgrade it a couple of levels. Please work, I don't know what percent this is, but please, and it did, guys. <laughs> so now all I need to do is get two forge books, and I believe I'll have enough, actually, with my mob coins that I've got. We're just gonna upgrade immunity up to five, and then all I need to do is get steel bones upgraded to level five. So slash combine, and we're gonna put these on the boots, and we will fully upgrade 
our G set now. So there we have it. It is basically entirely maxed out apart from some of these um, refinements that I want to work on later. Also, obviously, I'm going to need to get some eternal souls on this since I can't PvP with zero souls. <laughs> but I'm really happy with how this G set turned out. All right, here we go. There is less than 10 seconds until the boss spawns. So we're going to splash some strength. Honestly, I don't think I'm even going to really hit the boss this entire fight since I'm just focused on trying to get these leprechauns. And we are off to a good start. We got 30 from the first one. And one spawn, but it's literally on the far side. So I'm hopefully I can get some hits on it before it dies. Come on. We got 25. That's not bad. And we got another that already spawned. Uh, looks like I'm going to get first place. I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. And one spawned all the way over here. We're l probably going to get decent placement as well. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. First place. <laughs> but seriously, guys, this is literally the best way to make money on here. All you do is you just go boss, and every single time one of these leprechauns spawns in, you just kill it. You get tons of clovers from doing this. We got another 25 from that one. Not bad. Come on. I, I really hope I can get some good placement on this one. Uh, we got 30. Let's go. We're in such a good spot here. This is how I like to run my boss fights. <laughs> I'm really hoping another one will spawn in before this dude dies, but it may not happen based on his health. Come on, please, let's go. So he's gonna die here, but this will be the last one. Uh, let's see what we get. Hopefully 30. I'm really hoping. Guys, we didn't even place there. I'm throwing out here. Honestly, it's whatever. We got a fair amount of uh, clovers from that. I don't know exactly how much since I obviously had clovers before this, but I'm thinking we gained somewhere between like 100 and 150. But guys, that's pretty much how you do it. That's what this event is all about. Make sure you guys log on the server and go check it out, ecpehub.net. But pretty much, I think the last thing that I'm going to do is put this new leprechaun tag onto my Kerberos sword that I've been using, as well as I think we're going to also put on a soul scroll just because I can. And I think it's a pretty decent G sword to use. Obviously, if I'm making a mistake, let me know in the comments so I can feel bad later. <laughs> but now this G-Sword is really overpowered. I think the one thing missing from it is some kills now. But obviously that's gonna have to wait for another video because I really don't wanna go PvP with it yet. But I think that's gonna bring us to the end of this video. Anyways, have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next one.